Hey ladies, so welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a fun video. We're going to be doing a DIY. It's been a minute since we did a DIY, so I decided let's do one today. So a lot of times when I'm doing my videos, I usually wear different bracelets and I get a lot of ladies asking me where do I get the bracelets from and I make all of my bracelets. So I decided to do this video and take you guys along with me as I go and pick up some new supplies for, for some more braces because I need some for the fall. So I decided to take you ladies along as I head on to the craft store and pick some up. So I was trying to head out before it actually turned dark because I wanted to do some vlogging in the car, but my timing didn't work out. So we're going to head out now. It's about five o'clock in the evening. So it's dark outside with the daylight savings. So I'm going to grab my jacket and we are going to head out and I will see you guys once I actually get inside of the craft store. See you in the next part. So ladies, we have made it inside of the craft store and I am very excited. We chose an excellent day to come. As you guys can see, they have a sale on their bees where they are 40% off. Yes, and I am very, very excited. So I do want to point out, ladies, to play to pay very close attention at the price tags. As you guys can see, the red, green, brown, and blue, it tells you the different price. So pay attention to those tags. And of course, like I said, they're having a sale where they're 40% off. Okay, so I have made my way over across to the next aisle where, where the beads are on clearance. And they were regular $7.99, but they have them marked down for $2.99. And over there in that corner right there, we have more clearance items. So I am very excited about these items as well. And I see a couple that I may just get. I am feeling these right here. These are some animal print. I think that they are very lovely. And I like those as well. Those are also awesome. These are very nice beads. I'm loving the colors, especially for the fall. Even the ones down below. So I have made my way to the next aisle. And as you ladies know, I like tassels and all type of different charms to go on my bracelet. And I see a few that I am feeling. I love the blinginess of it. So... I'm feeling these right here, these pink ones. I think those are very cute as well. I think those will go cute. I'm feeling these blingy ones right here as well. I love the bling, like I said, as I told you ladies before. And they have all type of different charms for everyone. You see that one right there says Iran for nurses. So, and they, and these are buy one, get one 50% off. So, so I have made my way to the end of the aisle where um, I found more clearance items and the they're having 40% off their charms as well so I think I may snag some of those and last but not least I've made my way I'm to the other side and we're going to grab some of that stretch cord all right ladies so I have made it back home and those are the items that I picked up as you guys can see, I picked up some tassels, a lot of little different charms. And the best thing about the trip was I caught a lot of stuff on the clearance. So, yep. So, I am about to start creating, and I will see you all in the next part of the video. Okay, ladies, let the fun begin. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little trip to Michael's, and I am freezing. Y'all girl thought she was cute in that little jacket. It's like wintertime in Chicago, so, ugh. But, oh, also before I forget, shout out to Kimberly. I ran into you and, and Michaels, and thanks for showing me some love, and thank you for watching my videos. But let's get back to it. So the tools you'll need, you'll need some needle nose pliers, which you can get from Michaels. Of course, you'll need that uh, stretch cord, some jump rings. You can purchase those from Michaels as well. A uh, little binder clip, that's what I'll be using and some scissors okay so let's put some of this stuff down so first off you want to take your stretch cord 
okay? And this is the main component of making it, making the braces. This is what holds everything together. So what I like to do is I like to take my stretch cord and I like to measure it around my wrist. So I'm going to measure it about right there. But I also like to give the cord a little extra room for tying. And I dropped the, sh the scissors, but I'll pick those up. So I'm going to do it about right there. And I like to measure off about three pieces. And I like to do it equally. So I'm just going to measure that and cut it. And like I said, I'll be taking three pieces off. And I'm taking enough string where once I get all of the beads on there, I, I'll be able to tie it and cut the string. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to get that measure and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the three strings cut off. And that's how they look. And as you guys can see, I have took my little binder clip and I clipped it to the end. Okay. Now, this is what I use. I have actually was looking on Amazon and eBay and I saw something called a bee spacer. So, I think I might order that. And the bee spacer is similar to this binder clip. It's just, it basically just holds the strings in place. And as you're applying the bees, it keeps the bees from spilling everywhere. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to take this first strand of beads, okay, and I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm actually going to cut the beads off of the wire. And it, this may be a little tricky simply because I'm doing this on camera. Normally when I'm making my beads, I am at a table, so I have better control of the beads, but we're just going to make do on, on camera. So I am going to take, I'm put some, some of the beads down, but I'm going to take this first bead right here and I'm going to take the three strands and I'm just going to feed it through the beads, okay? So I'm just going to pinch them and just feed them through and feed them all the way through. Okay, and then I'm just going to continue to do it. So I'm going to pick up this clear bead right here, and I'm just going to do the same thing. And I love making my own beads because I get to personalize them. And doing DIY projects, they soothe me. Um, it gives me it gives me time to think. It gives me time to be creative. I just like doing DIY projects okay so let me just push those through okay and I'm going to take another bead and I'm going to feed it through and I'm just going to continue doing this with all of my beads so I am done adding the beads now we're just going to tie it up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both sides and we're just going to do a knot okay and hopefully this doesn't fall only because i'm doing it on camera and like i said i'm usually sitting at the table so i got it looped around one time and i'm going to knot it about three times okay and as you all can see you see why it was important to have extra string when you're measuring because you need to allow yourself enough space to knot the bracelets. So, once you get the bracelets knotted, then you want to just take your scissors and cut off the excess string. And then what I like to do once I get the strings cut, I like to take a little uh, nail glue and just dot it right on the knot. And it kind of hardens the the core and it doesn't move okay so I I think I'm gonna knot it one more time and then I'll just cut those strings okay so I completed this bracelet off of camera but I want to add some tassels to it so you want to take your two pliers I'm gonna sit the bracelet down for a minute and you want to take your tassels it has a jump ring on it you're gonna take your two pliers and you're going to place one at the bottom and one on top. And you're just going to open the jump ring. So, 
you hold it again and you're just gonna open it so then I'm gonna take the bracelet and then I want to place the tassel about right here so I'm just gonna loop it under and take the pliers and close it back and you have your tassel on your ring so I'm going to add about three more tassels on there doing this the same step so I previously opened this one so I'm just gonna put it on a bracelet and close it okay so here is the bracelet finished with the tassels on it okay and I love how it turned out so I'm going to sit that to the side and I'm going to show you guys how to make a charm bracelet because that's one of the bracelets that I always wear as well my own charm bracelet so I previously made this uh, bracelet off camera where I added the beads and I've also added two charms and remember in the beginning of the video I told you that you will need a pack of jump rings so what I did was I took where the charms here they are here are some of the charms I took some of the charms and I'm going to take this charm right here and I'm going to take a jump ring again you will need your pliers and I am going to open this jump ring. So I'm just going to take my pliers and open it like so. Then I'm going to take the charm. This is the charm. And I'm just going to put the charm on the jump ring, okay? And then I'm going to take my bracelet. And then I'm just going to attach it onto the bracelet. And then you just want to close your jump ring. Okay. And it is on there. So I'm just going to continue adding the charms that I want onto this bracelet. I am done creating my bracelets. I love how they turned out. And I hope you ladies found this video very helpful. Um, like I said, I love creating my bracelets. I know, especially if you have thicker wrists like me sometimes it's hard to find bracelets so this is a great alternative where you can go in and you can personalize your own bracelet plus if you guys do these DIY with your daughters or with your sisters or with your moms or whoever this would be a great project for bonding time and with the holidays coming up you all can give these away as gifts as well so if you all decide to re recreate any of these bracelets then let me see Tag, tag me in some photos on my social media. Okay, I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.